And welcome back. Well, Dr. Ian Smith is a nationally recognized health expert. He's seen all over television. He's authored many best-selling books. And even President Obama hired him to create nu nutrition programs for all Americans. And we're thrilled to welcome Ian to The Morning Blend. His latest work, Shred the Revolutionary Diet, is not just a book. It becomes a movement, even popular with celebrities. Welcome back to The Morning Blend, Doctor. Good to be back. Thank you for being here. I think this is so exciting. Your book has been topping the charts. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that celebrities love. We've got a Milwaukee Shredders group. Yep. What's so cool about why this book after nine other books? Well, people love the simplicity of it. It's really a straightforward program. Four meals a day, three snack options. The book spells out every meal for six weeks. It gives you all kinds of flexibility. For example, if you're a vegan, a vegetarian, a diabetic, you can make those substitutions. People love the food is regular. You don't have to go buy all organic food. You can go to any basic grocery store to get it. And also, it does not ask you to eat perfectly. It is a program that says sometimes you're going to have pizza, sometimes you're going to have bacon and eggs, but try to do it in a way where the portions are controlled and you can still continue our weight loss journey. So I think people love the plan because it's a real plan. Yeah, it is real, and it's something people can do every day. It's uh, common sense, we've said before here on the show. A lot of people, when they're trying to lose weight, they cut out a certain group of food. Right. And I know that's one of the tips that you give is that you should never fast, which is cutting out an entire food group for a period sure. of time, right? That's a, that's a distinction you make. Well, because what happens is, you know, I call those deprivation diets. Mm -hmm. In deprivation diets, you have to eliminate things um, and large numbers of items and that may work for the short term but the long term you're going to crave for that item you're going to miss that item and some of the items that you are eliminating are really healthy and nutritious for you and so I say to people rather than do a deprivation program do a program that says let's modify you can almost eat anything in moderation even if food isn't very healthy you can still have it because no one's going to eat perfectly for the rest of their life in the shred program we teach people how to make smarter choices so if you're going to have for example a really bad dinner then have a healthier lunch and do some compensation. So it's really about the sort of strategy of balance mm -hmm. more than anything else. Well, and I think what's interesting, you say six weeks, four inches, two sizes, and for you that kind of spells out oftentimes up to 20 pounds for people in six weeks, which I think sounds like a lot. It, do, it is a lot for a lot of people. It also depends on how much weight you have to lose. Obviously, mm -hmm. the more weight you have to lose, the more you're going to lose. The less you have to lose, the less you'll lose in that short period of time. But the reason why I think this is fine is because the way you're losing it is not by starving yourself, is not by only eating one particular food item or one beverage. You're eating regular food. I mean, you're having fish, and, uh, fish turkey, chicken. Uh, you're having cereals sometimes, fruits and vegetables. So it's a healthy way of losing the weight. People lose the weight very quickly on this program because it says that what they've been doing has been pretty bad, and also, also they have not been exercising. The book also recommends some form of exercise. Mm -hmm. Which is good for our heart, good for our health. We know all these Longevity. things. We don't like to always do it, but That's we right. know it, That's right. right? That's right. Our happiness. Yes, happiness, That's all right. those sorts of things. One thing you really pinpoint is diet confusion. I'm confused by the sound of this, but it's, <laughs> it's the calories up and down, yes. and that's something that's important. Why? So in weightlifting, they have a concept called muscle confusion. Mm -hmm. When weightlifters have maximized how big their muscles can grow, they, the trainers will then have them change the type of workout they do to re-stimulate muscle growth. Same thing with diet confusion. Even if you're eating the best food, you will reach a plateau where you can't lose weight anymore. And so you have to confuse the diet. By that I mean change the type of food that you eat and the number of calories you consume per day. So in this program, in Shred, you don't have to do calorie counting. I do that for you. All you have to do is follow the program, measure it, and your calories will be going up and down in a confusing way and also the types of food you eat will, will vary drastically from day to day even within a day and that will help you keep your metabolism high and break through those plateaus. Do you eat fried foods? I do, I do. do. Yeah, but I don't eat them a lot. You uh -huh. know, sometimes I have a craving for, for example, you know, a fried pork chop or something like that and I'll have it. But the key is I'll have it once every four or five weeks whereas other people have them twice or three times a week and mm -hmm. that is the problem. It's the frequency of the bad items that's the issue, not just the bad item by itself. So it's all about being consistent. Uh, you've been you've been all over. You've been on Oprah. You've been on Rachel Ray. You've been on the Today Show. You're you're appointed by the Obamas to the President's Council of Fitness, Sports, and Nutrition. You travel around sometimes with the First Lady. Lady, what? When you go uh, all these big uh, places, what is the number one message that you want people to take home? For everybody here in Milwaukee who says, if I can take one item away from him that these people also know, what is it? That you actually can be in control of your health destiny if you make small improvements. You don't have to make drastic improvements, but small improvements at a time 
will lead to big differences, and that's the key. Don't try to do too much at once. Try to work on one small thing that's not you're not doing well, and you know you're not doing well, and then go to the next item. My small thing is I need to drink more water. <laughs> water is kind of bland. It's, it's just not so fun. It's so bland. You know what you do? You take some lemon, and you squeeze some lemon into the water. That helps. But also what I like to do is I take fruit, I slice it, I put it in a jug overnight in the water, and the, the fruit, the sweetness will seep into the water and the flavor, and the water tastes much better that Infuses way. it. What's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is probably strawberries, strawberries. and raspberries, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love berries. Berries are full of antioxidants. They're yeah, great. they're so good for you. I also love cucumber water. I've had that oh, before. Oh, man. So good, Is that right? good or what? So good. Well, cucumbers are my favorite. My, cucumbers are technically a fruit, we call them vegetables, but cucumbers are my favorite. All right. They're crunchy, they're tasty, they're just great. I'm with you on that one. All right. <laughs> All right, people can follow more information about you um, by going to your website. It's DrIansmith.com. You can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and join the Milwaukee Revolution of Milwaukee Shredders on Facebook as well.